All right, back again, and this will be the uh, final segment for Sonic 3 and uh, Knuckles with Tails. So good old Lombary Zone. This is also the, um, if I can continue my thoughts with uh, playing as Knuckles, this is basically like the final full zone you play when you're uh, using Knuckles. And I think even then, like, he doesn't really have a proper Act 2 boss with this game, uh, with this stage, so it is a, uh, ow, whoops, not paying attention to what I'm doing there. Double, double whammy. What? But the fire shield, that'll uh, come to our rescue here. Eh, no secrets. That said, it's still very easy to get uh, hurt by something. So that was another main reason I um, did Knuckles in Sonic 2 instead of Sonic 3, because... Yeah, his um, back half... Oh god, those stupid things with my... Not, not being careful enough. But yeah, his back um, half of the game is a lot more truncated than it is with... Um, Sonic or Tails. Ah, uh, come on. I, I was totally going to be landing on that. Cut me some slack here, game. Alright, get off of that before I get fireballed in the face. Hey, more of those giant rings if we didn't need them. So there's a few... I could have gone to in Sanopolis Zone if I really needed them, but luckily I didn't have to uh, go back for those. Oh yeah, hit the switch. Dummy. So, um, you know, I still, I'm definitely looking to do um, more of the Sonic games, as I said. Um, I do also have Another project I'm uh, planning, kind of like a um, side project that I'll do, like, in sort of alongside other runs. Um, I'm not going to spoil it too much. I already told Cody about it. So he he knows what I'm planning on, but it'll be um, a, lot, uh, a lot different than... Anything I'm doing here with Sonic and, and stuff. And, um, yeah, I'll probably end up doing a video with that starting today as well. Alright. Want to go up anymore? I can't remember if there was any more goodies up here. No. Okay. So those guys are pretty crazy looking. Uh, I'm pretty sure they instantly crush you if you're underneath them. So it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know, the spikes, uh, not really necessary. And those um, um, toxic gas spewing enemies can be rather annoying. Like if you're stuck inside their um, a toxic cloud, they sap rings away from you. So, they're not, like, immediately dangerous, but they can be very uh, annoying to deal with. Alright, let's keep rolling through here. No, I want to get my momentum back here. Ah. Yeah, because if you get... If you don't hit them in right away, sometimes you'll just take, like, normal collision damage, which is also not good. Alright. Those, those um, platforms there with the spin dash going through, you can also go down them faster if you uh, use... Um, if you use a... Uh, 
like your co-op partner, like you're doing Sonic and Tails together, pretty much in the same way that, um, oh. Wow. I didn't want to grab the lightning shield, too. Oh, I missed the flyer shield. Back. There we go. That's what I... Oh, crap. I missed the fire shield again. Oh, well, lightning shield's okay. Come on. This hand part is really the more annoying uh, part of this boss anyway. But yeah, you basically have to take out both uh, parts of this mini boss here, which... Um, it's a little bit easier to destroy those guys, especially if you have the shield. The timing the uh, hits on the hands is sometimes a little bit awkward. Like, if you're not exact with the timing, you'll just, like, take damage instead. Rather frustrating. Okay, so Act 1 finished. And, uh, lava cools instantly. Now, I'm no geological expert, but I feel like that's not a um, 100% good thing. Whoa. There we go. Get the fire shield there. That makes dealing with those hazards a lot uh, easier. But yeah, I'm not sure um, all that lava cooling that fast is, you know, the safest thing to have happen. I could be wrong, but... Alright, so let's, yeah, take a bit of a shortcut here on the upper path. More hidden alcoves. Oh, no. There we go. Let's at least get the, uh, Invincibility box. See, as I said, this is the last um, completely full-length act that uh, Knuckles ends up going through. And like I said, he doesn't actually have an Act 2 boss at the end of it, so... Even that's a little bit, like... Like a half... Uh, Ah, no! I don't want to go down there. But I can. Oh, well. Sorry, I wanted to give that up for the fire shield anyway. Yo, if I could, like, not, uh... Get hurt by that guy, that'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, we'll just fly up alongside that guy. It's probably legit, right? Now, I do want to say, before we get there, that... Um, it's not... Not really the, the boss itself so much as, um... Basically, like, the... Part of, of the leading up to it is, um... A little bit, uh, has a little bit of jank, which is kind of, real, you know, um, related to the, um, the, the Sonic Physics Engine, I think. And I'll say, because it involves, like, auto-scrolling, which I don't, um, think that Sonic was really set up properly for. At least not in the... Oh, dang it! I... I do that almost every time, and I hate myself for it. Ah! Let's avoid jumping directly into fire. Ow! Why do I always forget about those things? 
So you can tell that it's been a minute since I've, uh... Since I've played here. So you're know, always falling for those really obvious hazards. Yeah, let's not talk too much about the physics of running upside down on the walls. Alright, so we're pretty much at the boss battle now, and hey, you can see uh, the death egg sticking out from the ceiling there. And there goes Knuckles rolling boulders down on us. And it, like, blasted us to, like, an entirely different portion of the level because the Death Egg is now suddenly a lot closer. Alright, so this looks kind of simplistic, although I have to tell you, the way it controls is a lot more awkward than it actually looks. You say it's just one of those things that it just feels kind of awkward. See, just like that, I jumped and it just decided to uh, throw me down into that bottomless pit there. Although I'm blaming my uh, controller more for that one because I hit the the button input and it just totally didn't register. So. Pro tip, getting this flame shield makes the boss battle here almost 100% trivial. See, you can just stand on the lava. So yeah, I always recommend uh, grabbing that um, fire shield. Because other than that, you have to do a bunch of um, annoying jumping on these platforms. Which isn't, like, the worst thing in the world, but... Considering, like, how many bombs actually have to hit Robonic here... It does get a little bit tedious. So, like I say, this is easily my least favorite boss in the game. Because it's really easy with the fire shield, and it's also just kind of boring. Because of how long it takes. So I, I would definitely um, switch this boss up if I had the, the option. I'm glad, you know, when they brought um, this uh, lottery back for Sonic Mania that they went with, you know, entirely different kind of boss battle. There we go. So, yeah, his... Um, machine exploded, and then this, all this lava eventually, once again, hards over instantly, so... Go figure how Robotnik survives that one. Because he should be, like, encased in solidified rock. Okay, so Hidden Palace Zone. So this is a very short stage. Um, now the funny thing is, is that as short as this stage is, it's, like... Almost not even a level at all when you're playing as Knuckles. It's literally, like, maybe 10 seconds, if that. So, yeah. Like, once you get to Lavery, you go to here, and, uh... We get to do our nice... Oh, oh Knuckles boss battle here. I swear that they kind of, um... Updated him a bit for this, uh stage because he's normally like a lot easier to hit from the underside when he's um, doing his gliding motion. Now they kind of made him invulnerable. Because yeah, otherwise he's like a total pushover. So I guess that's the one thing that got changed. But he totally no-sells the beating we just gave him and instantly gets right back up. All right, Robonic's treachery has been revealed. Tries to make off with the Master Emerald. Well, actually, he does make off with the Master Emerald because... Knuckles is getting the life uh, zapped out of him. And again, doesn't matter how many times you hit that boss. 
Yeah, you just got electrocuted, buddy. Hey, I'm I'm good, right? But now you're now you're worn out again. I just think you don't want to help us. Punching that wall couldn't have been that much ever for you. Yeah, and Knuckles, um, his Sky Sanctuary Zone is literally just a uh, his final boss battle. So again, we get we get a full fledged stage as Sonic and Tails. But you know that's not a, not a big deal. Oh yeah, there'll be one other like um, sort of exclusive option that I took advantage of with this game because um, there's going to be a couple uh, nostalgic boss fights that are put in this in this stage um, where I use the option for um, giving them their retro. Uh, soundtracks so, so hey this looks familiar right yeah so can put the um, Sonic 1 uh, music into this boss ow and get totally owned by the wrecking ball yeah normally you would just get the Sonic 3 boss battle music, but, um, you know, I figured why not use that option just to have a blast from the past, uh, music choice. And then there's gonna be one other retro theme boss coming up. Well, technically two, depending on how you look at the one, two more, depending on how you look at the one boss battle. I could see the argument. Alright, so boss battle number two. Ah. Oh. I wanted to see if I could defeat him without uh, popping any of the balloons. Oh well. That's a lot easier to do with um, Sonic and the Insta Shield because that gives you a little bit better. Whoops! Pay attention to what you're doing, but yeah, it gives you a little bit better reach. Um, oh yeah, I guess show. There's a fun little thing that happens when you uh, yeah land on the ground. It kind of gives you a little bit of a boost there. So those are the two official um, nostalgia bosses there. Wow. That was unexpected. He had screwed with the uh, timing on that blast. Just attack him at. S defeat him at the same exact second he was um, getting ready to, to fire his laser. Yeah, so those egg robos, and you know, it's one of those guys that pilots um, all of the robotic boss battles when you're playing as Knuckles. Alright, Mecha Sonic. You could also kind of look at this as a as a throwback battle because he does have very similar patterns as um, Silver Sonic in the Sonic 2 Death Egg Zone. Oh yeah, so I can also tell you there's another little um, bit of controversial differences of opinions where I've never been a big fan of uh, Metal Sonic, the more long-standing one that got introduced in Sonic CD. And it's another, like, point of contention I have with uh, Alex. But, you know, I, I feel like the yeah, Mecha Sonic and even the Silver Sonic don't get enough uh, credit, like, like, the amount of people that, like, brag about Silver Sonic, uh, about, not Silver Sonic, but about, um, Metal Sonic is, I always feel is, like, a, kind of insane. Like, when I finally played Sonic CD, like, I didn't think he was, like, anything all that much more special or interesting than 
Silver Sonic or Mecha Sonic. I mean, even you want to be like really kind of, you know, technical about achievements. Like Mecha Sonic, if you're playing the Knuckles Path, actually gets a full-fledged super mode as his uh, final boss battle with Knuckles, which you know is pretty cool. Something that um, Metal Sonic didn't get. Um, depending on how you want to count his uh, boss fight in um, Knuckles Chaotix. So, eh. He said, I, I think that Metal Sonic is overrated as a character, but, you know... What, what are you gonna do? Controversial opinions, right? And so obviously this Death Egg stage is a lot more uh, fleshed out than what we uh, got in Sonic 2, where it was just the final boss battle. But, you know, hey, you gotta love these crazy uh, transporters. And Act 2 is, is, like, really big on, this, on like, uh, the whole big interface screwing with you. So, it's like, yeah, it's like, this stage is kind of difficult. But, I mean, Act 2 is, like, wild. As, and, uh, like I said, you'll see that when we get there. Technically, I... Ow. Oh, okay, well, never mind. I was going to say, technically, I don't have to wait for this guy. Because with the lightning shield, you can stand on those electrified platforms. But, yeah, now that I lost it... I gotta ride this guy. I mean, I could fly, but, you know, whatever. Watch out for those bullets, and I'm... Yeah, that's like a bottomless pit down there, too, so... Alright, so here's another fun little bit of uh, puzzle solving, is you gotta hit each of those bumpers and uh, turn them red to open the access door there. Yay! I think they speeded those up just a, just a hair. Cause that, uh, their timing on those is just slightly slower in... Uh, the unaltered version of the game. Not really a big noticeable difference, but just uh, I can tell just from like all the times I've played it, it's a little bit faster. Uh, let's get ourselves a shield again. Since I noticed that was going to be a gumball stage here. I'm not worried about rings. Um, a water shield, I guess, but a one-up. You never get what you want when you're actively trying to get it. All right. I will take that. Technically, the lightning shield is the uh, most useful, but eh. All right, so this is a crazy uh, mini-boss, the red eye. The fun fact is you can use um, debug to... Um, Get to, to this stage with Knuckles, but um, considering the height of Red Eye, it's actually impossible to um, defeat him because Knuckles literally can't. Uh, ow. Oh, great. That was cool. Knuckles literally can't get enough height to uh, hit him in that fa first phase. So, this is also cool. We get a secondary phase. But yeah, just stand still on this platform, and uh, you won't fall off. If you try to move at all, like, the, the physics will just, like, launch you. It's it's slow, but, yeah, it's the most reliably uh, safe and inconvenience-free method. 
I'm kind of surprised that they actually made it so that you could ride on these platforms safely without getting blasted by the laser, but... Who am I to question design choices, right? We're having fun. There we go. Alright, so we'll just knock the uh, signpost over there for fun. Because the, yeah, that, the floor is going to disappear, so that sign uh, just now drifting out into deep space. So, uh, starting off our level with a uh, sneaky death trap. Yeah, go down, you can get a lightning shield, and you have two different pathways you can choose. I'm going to go this direction. So, yeah. Check out our big uh, interface screw here with um, being upside down. This definitely takes a minute to get used to um, controlling. And also avoiding those bullets. <laughs> so yeah, that's our big uh, gimmick here. But yeah, you ride on the elevators and it'll take you to a different part of the stage and um, get back to normal gravity. I thought I was actually going to get um, screwed there. I don't... Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I don't care much for trying to navigate these platforms when you're dealing with alternate uh, physics here. Alright, so the only really thing that we're going to end up missing out on uh, by not playing a Sonic is uh, we don't get to do the Doomsday Zone. Just a little bit of a bummer, but I said just for the, it was going to be for the sake of mixing things up with characters and gameplay. Yeah, we'll just fly up there. It's actually really easy to get hit by that um, uh, bullet launcher there. Two, one, go! And those things are optional. You can actually skip them and just uh, traverse through the... the oh. I knew I was going to have to get hit by at least one of these guys. Yeah, you, you can go through the parts of the level there optionally. I think some speedrunners do because a lot of times it's a, a little bit faster, but... I don't know, I, I always feel like they're fun to ride. Just to go, you know, watching uh, the wild loop-the-loops that they send you on. Yay, get our shield back. They'll probably, like, immediately lose it again. Okay. Uh, we should be getting pretty close to the end. See, so, yeah, I think this is, like, the last major... Uh... Oh. I thought... I, I thought ducking was low enough to have you miss that. Oh, yeah, and if... If you jump on here, they change directions. If uh, you didn't notice what happened when I took damage there. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get ourselves uh, another shield back. I don't really need it, strictly speaking, but... Let's see if we can... Um, get it back, if, if at all possible. Or I'm just gonna... Keep finding rings. All right, well, flame shield is something, I suppose. Hey, lightning shield, there we go. Gotta love it. And this is another one, it took me uh, a long time to figure out the uh, 
the way the physics of this um, stage work. But yeah, we'll just exit on out because yeah, now we're going to get into the boss battle. So um, this is a return to uh, puzzle type boss battles. Ah. Ow! That's a fun uh, method of dealing with these guys here. Oh! Wasn't. Oh, crap. That's bad. Uh, I think I screwed myself. So I'm not going to have any rings whatsoever for the last boss, which sucks. But I don't know, what can I do? I, I totally uh, screwed myself by not grabbing those rings there. Hopefully, hopefully I don't need them. The bright side is we don't have to do that boss again. So the first phase of this final boss battle is really simple. It looks intimidating, but It's honestly really easy, because you can just do things like that. And you can just, like, chain in between these fingers with spin dash and, like, take him out almost right away. The second one, the second part is, is kind of, can be a little tricky, because you got to worry about timing a bit. So yeah, the, the flame is is easy to, um... Ah, oh, see, I got greedy. The sad thing is you have to do it without any rings whatsoever. Oh well. Thought maybe, maybe, maybe. It's a little bit easier to do that if you have, like, um... Some rings to as a safety net, but not a big deal. Okay, so we'll just play it a lot safer. It's all not the. Uh... Yeah, it's easier to be brave when you're not uh, worrying them out um, dying because of not having rings. I just don't want to have this thing take like a thousand years. Sadly, the boss battle isn't quite as uh, cool as Big Arm, even though it gets to use the awesome final boss uh, theme. Alright, now, there's one last little phase we have to worry about. And you have to be a little bit careful, because once again, the way the auto scrolling physics are kind of jank in this game. Although I'm not sure, I think the widescreen support might actually help us because we don't have to worry about um, attacking him from behind. You definitely don't want to do that because if you attack him from behind, like the knockback can sometimes knock you back off into that bottomless pit. But there we go, we've completed it. 
the whole game. And our uh, super transformation. And it's another cool feature with this music. They restored the, uh, the Sonic 3 credits music. Which I always thought was really cool. And it was a shame that you didn't get to hear it at all once you played the games combined together. It's really a uh, nice use of it. And um, get our nice little uh, scene of returning the Master Emerald back to the floating island. And we'll allow it to float out of the water again. So yay, there it goes. This gets to be a nice backdrop. So, oh yeah, forget this little cutscene of um, yeah, back in uh, Angel Island Zone. There, Knuckles saying, "Hey, thanks. Yeah, we did all your work for you there." Oh yeah, they oh they changed up the um, uh, ending medley here because yeah normally you, it only plays tracks from Sonic and Knuckles stages, so yeah it looks like they added the Sonic Three stages in here too. That's that's cool. See so, yeah, another uh, fun ending with uh, riding the uh, the tornado. Well, birds follow us, and this time we're even close to the water, so we get to see dolphins. So yeah, another fun Sonic game crossed off the list. Um, like I said, I have that other project that I'll probably get into. Like I said, I'll probably do that today as well, get that started, and you know, once again, keep up with other Sonic games. And Halo 2 Legendary will be in the pipeline coming up some point now that that's officially released. And sort of take projects by year, you know, it's once again, it's kind of dependent on how long all this uh, quarantine stuff lasts and, you know, whenever, you know, get back to doing work schedules, having, you know, good enough amount of free time to uh, sit down and do um, recording sessions. It's easier now because it's like, hey, you can do it almost any time during the day you want. But, you know, play things by ear. Doing doing videos like this, you know, having a lot of fun. So definitely I'll try to make time for it whenever possible. And, you know, like I said, I, you know, as far as Sonic, you know, definitely want to do um, stuff like Spinball and 3D Blast and... You know, probably do Sonic CD and, and most likely Sonic Mania as well. So definitely have a few of those games going and then just uh, see what else happens. It'd be, it may be possibly interesting to do um, stuff like the, the Adventure series. I, I played through Adventure 1. I played some of Adventure 2. So those could be a possibility. Um, there's also that uh, comedy run through of Sonic, uh, Sonic Genesis port. Um, on the Game Boy Advance, so that's um, something I might I'll probably look into doing sometime pretty soon as well. But yeah, so yeah, this Sonic Three definitely remains one of my top games of all time. It's pretty much like only behind uh, Grim Fandango for my favorite game ever. So it's always it's always great coming back and playing this and you know, like having this like cool new version is really 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 fun all right but yeah that's the end of that and um we will see you all next time next game everyone